Hello, my name is Simon Schur, and welcome to my foot articulation tutorial. Before beginning this tutorial, I suggest you watch my front kick, round kick, side kick, and hook kick tutorials. When you're throwing a martial arts kick, there are several variations of foot position on each kick. It's important to be able to switch from one foot position to another depending on how your target changes. I've developed a series of drills to help you gain control and flexibility in the muscles of your foot so that you can put it in the right position for each kick depending on your target. There are four primary kicks in Taekwondo. Front kick, round kick, side kick, and hook kick. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the different ways that we can position our foot in each of those kicks to strike different targets with different purposes. First, we're going to go over the front kick. When performing a front kick, you can perform it in any one of three ways. With a pointed foot striking with the top or instep of the foot, with the ball of the foot, or a piercing front kick, or with the heel of the foot in a snapping or thrusting front kick. To begin practicing the foot positions, I suggest you sit down and extend your feet in front of you. Start with your foot flexed, then point your ankle but keep your toes pulled back, then point your toes. Now pull your toes back but not your ankle, and then flex your ankle. Practice this several times until traveling through these three positions is easy. For the next step, I suggest taking a TheraBand and putting it over the ball of your foot. Pull it tight, and then go through the same motion again. Flexed, ball of foot, pointed, ball of foot, flexed. Do this several times on both feet. Now stand on the bar and lift your knee up. Extend your front kick out in a pointed position. Hold it there, then pull the ball of your toes back, then flex your foot all the way. Then go back to the ball of your foot, then point your foot. Go through this uh, cycle several times until you can easily manipulate the position of your foot and transition through the manipulation without dropping your leg. Now try throwing your front kick on all three levels, low, middle, and high, and on each level, flow through each of the foot positions. Low section, front kick, pointed, ball, flex, ball, point, bend. Extend middle, point, ball, flex, ball, point, bend. Extend high, point, ball, flex, ball, point, bend. Now we'll go to the round kick. The round kick has two primary foot positions, pointed, striking with the top or instep of the foot, and flex, striking with the ball of the foot. Sometimes I also do a big toe round kick to jab someone in the ribs or in the neck, but that's not one of the positions that we're going to go over in this tutorial. So bend your knee, put your hand on the bar, pivot your foot, bend your knee for the round kick, just like we go over in the, tutorial, in the round kick tutorial. Extend your foot and flow through the two foot positions twice. Extend, pointed, flex, point, flex, point, bend. Extend, pointed, flex, point, flex, point, bend. Now try alternating the kick. Kick point, kick flex, kick point, kick flex, kick point, kick flex, kick point, kick flex, and then put your foot down. Do this on both sides. The side kick has three primary foot positions. Striking with the heel, striking with the knife edge of the foot, or the top side, and striking with the ball of the foot in a pushing motion. I suggest sitting on one knee bent and extending the other foot sideways. Make sure that you're in a side position with the heel sticking out. Then roll the foot so that the knife edge of the foot is sticking out. Then point the ankle and pull the toes back so that the ball of the foot is sticking out. Then flex the ankle so that the knife edge is once again sticking out. And then roll the foot backwards so that the heel is sticking out. Flow through these three positions several times. Heel, knife, ball, knife, heel. Heel, knife, ball, knife, heel. Now you should try with the TheraBand. Wrap the TheraBand around your foot, stick the heel out, then roll the foot to the knife edge, extend the ball of the foot so the ball of the foot is sticking out, then roll, back, roll the, the foot back so that the knife edge is sticking out, and then roll the foot backwards so that the heel is sticking out. Now stand up, put one hand on a bar, pivot your foot towards the wall, and chamber your knee for the side kick. Extend your leg out and roll through the three positions. Heel, knife, ball, knife, heel, then pull back. Then do it again, extend your leg out, heel, knife, ball, knife, heel, back. Now, kick three times and each kick will have a different striking tool. Strike with the heel, pull back. Strike with the knife edge, pull back. Strike with the ball of foot, pull back. Do this several times on both legs. The hook kick has two variations, pointed foot, and flexed foot. I think that the hook kick doesn't bear quite as much practice as the other three kicks, 
because the only use for a pointed foot uh, hooking kick is to soften the blow. If you're sparring and you don't want to knock your opponent out, you strike them with your toes. That's the only exception. Other than that, I would generally use the back or nub of the heel. Step away from the bar to the center of the room. You can use either the front leg or the back leg. I suggest practicing both. Pick up your leg into a front kick position, away from the bar, extend it, and go through the various permutations of the front kick. Pointed, ball, flex, ball, point, bend, and put down behind you. Do this several times. Now try the three kicks in a row. Kick point, kick ball, kick flex, put down. Kick point, kick ball, kick flex, put down. Now try it with the round kick. Round kick point, flex, point, bend, down. Round kick point, flex, point, bend, down. Now try the round kick four times in a row uh, with a different permutation on each successive kick. First do a pointed, then a flex, then a pointed, then a flex, then put it down. Now try the side kick. First chamber and extend the leg with the heel sticking out. Then roll to the knife edge, extend to the ball, back to the knife edge, back to the heel, pull the knee back, and then put the foot down behind you. Do this several times. Now try three successive side kicks in a row, each one with a different permutation of the kick. Chamber, extend heel. Chamber, extend knife edge. Chamber, extend ball. Pull back and put it down. Do this several times on both legs until it's easy. A great way to really push yourself with these various permutations of the kicks are to perform the kick in a sliding motion up and down the room. Sliding front kick with each kick having a, a different foot position. Slide front kick point, slide front kick ball, slide front kick flex, there and back. Do a sliding round kick, alternating pointed and flexed up and down the room. Do a sliding side kick, alternating heel, knife edge, and ball of the foot. You can practice a combination of all the kicks up and down the room uh, in various sequences. You could do a front kick with a ball of the foot, followed by a round kick with a pointed foot, followed by a step behind side kick with a knife edge, followed by a spin hook kick with a pointed foot. You do a front kick with a pointed foot, a round kick with a ball of the foot, a uh, spin side kick with the knife edge of the foot, and a step behind hook kick with a uh, flexed foot. Another good challenge would be to try a kicking combination, like a front kick, round kick, side kick, hook kick combination, and on each one, uh, do a different variation of each of the different kicks. For example, a pointed front foot, a flexed round kick, a knife edge side kick, and a pointed hook kick, followed by a, another, another set, where you do a uh, ball the foot front kick, pointed foot round kick, uh, ball the foot uh, side kick, and a flexed foot hook kick. It's very important to figure out what you can use each variation of the foot for. For example, the pointed foot might be used to strike under the armpit, or at a slight angle into the lower rib cage or floating ribs, or into the solar plex. The ball of the foot front kick might be designed to strike a smaller target. If your opponent has their guards up and you're trying to get in between them, a, uh, a ball of the foot front kick might be more effective. The heel is used as more of a power strike. If you're trying to break a, break a bunch of bones or crack the sternum or push the philtrum back or knock the head back and knock the opponent out, the heel front kick could be very useful. For the round kick, if you're trying to knock your opponent back, and uh, hit him with a lot of impact, I would use the pointed foot round kick. If you're trying to dig deep and really do injury in a specific spot, as opposed to just rack your opponent, I would use the ball of the foot. Or if your opponent blocks your kick uh, by just a few inches, and a few more inches in there would get you the strike, then you could flex your foot and hit them with the ball of the foot. For the side kick, if you just want to rock your opponent, the heel is the way to go. You slam with the heel with all your power. If you want to get a finer, uh, make a finer target, not, maybe not as much power, but uh, wedge your foot under the rib cage, into the solar plex, or into the neck, or under the philtrum, then using the knife edge of the foot would be a good choice. If your opponent is a little bit further away and you're trying to catch them because they keep moving back, and you're doing a sliding kick or step behind kick and they're moving just out of, out of the way, if you extend your ankle and strike with the ball of the foot, you'll have a better chance of hitting them. Thank you very much for watching my foot articulation tutorial. Please don't forget to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And please check out the other videos on my YouTube channel.